All right, it's Shabbat Shalom, Mr. Pekaz, good morning, my day, Yahoo, Ben Yashrael. Welcome you to another live broadcast of my living branch. So a lot of stuff has been going on. And we're going to talk a little bit today because uh, in this, uh, what experience I think is a great lesson for all of us. And... We, we can benefit from it. So, let me, I'm just bringing up my chat so that I can see everybody. And um, I know several people contacted me and uh, about the website being down, over which I had no control. But we'll go through that and I'll explain all that shortly <clears throat> so let me just type in here Shabbat Shalom and we put our Miss Pekah and we got it in there alright we got a few people on here so we're going to pray and then I'm going to uh, do some elab elaborating and kind of go over what transpired and what the Father's doing. All right, let's pray. If you have your tallit, at a minimum, uh, make sure your head's covered. And some people won't understand that because of their misinterpretation of what Shaul said. But if you notice when the priest ministered in the temple or anyone that came before Yehovah, they never came uncovered you see it in worship you see the example so we're praying so cover your head it's a sign of being under authority father in the name of Mashiach Yahusha we say Toda Rabbah for this day we ask your father to stretch your hands out upon us father and touch every Person under the sound of my voice, all of my mispakah out there, both far and near. I thank you, Father, and I say Todah Rabbah for all of those that I have been able to be in touch with. And I ask you, Father, to keep them, keep all of those that listen to this, uh, these teachings that you give me. And I ask you to help them, Father, to continue to navigate as we go to a new level of understanding, a new level um, so that we can be fruitful. We say, Toda, Father, for your graciousness. Toda, for your kindness. We thank you in the name of Mashiach, Yahusha, and thank you, Father, for everything that happens in our life because it comes for your purpose. In the name of Mashiach, Yahusha, Hallel to Yahuwah, Amin. All righty, Ms. Picasso. <clears throat> what transpired a couple of days ago was uh, the living-branch.org website went down and when it went down of course you know the first thing you do is contact the your hosting company tech support you know because they might have because I ha haven't made any updates or changes. They might have did something in their system. Updates or changes. <clears throat> so. As you know. I submitted the support ticket. So they came back. They found out what was wrong. And ironically. Uh, it was one file. That was missing. And they could not. Could not find that file. And the file um, that was missing wasn't in backup either. So <laughs> the only thing I could conclude, because they say they didn't do any changes or hadn't updated their system or anything, and plus it wasn't in backup, the only thing I could conclude was that I was hacked somehow. And in that process, someone hacked and the whole website just boom non-operational so what compounded the problem is the platform dolphin that we're using or we're using 
they are phasing out that platform so they weren't coming out with any more uh, updates they weren't providing uh, any tech support um, so it was like you know to try to fix this problem it's like searching for a needle in a haystack so I had to figure something out I had to figure out how because you know, I know my um, a lot of people love the website and being able to connect with others. And we had the health forum and all the you know, various different things uh, that were transpiring. So I'm trying, I'm scrambling, trying to figure out, okay, you know, what's going on? So first, you know, I'm telling everybody, I got hacked. I got hacked. You know, but then I had to start considering some stuff. And I had to start considering, could it have been the hand of Elohim or Elohim for those that prefer that pronunciation? And this is a life learning for all of us. Because sometimes we'll point the finger at others when, you know, as as time was going on, I started really examining the situation and getting a better understanding that, okay, well, could this have been, yeah, I know I was hacked, but could this have been the hand of Elohim? And what I started doing was self-examination. Okay, so many months back, couldn't tell you how many, uh, I had to go back and look when I purchased it. I had purchased uh, mylivingbranch.org. And I had, you know, I just was holding on to it. I said, eventually, I'm going to migrate to the new platform and I'm going to, you know, you know, um, make it things better website wise for my listening audience and those that visit the website and so you know it was like it was on the back burner i procrastinated um so when i started looking at this hmm i had to start thinking that sometimes it's not the the one that actually did it that hacked that caused it Sometimes we cause things. Okay, and I th thought about this, um, the story of Joseph, you know, he's telling all the dreams and his brother's getting mad and selling them. And at the end, he had to figure out what Elohim, what they meant for evil, Elohim meant for good. So that, however this happened, or the hacker, or who, whoever it was, or however it happened, actually did me a favor. Because I had to get up off my butt <laughs> and get something done. Now, how many of us have been in that position, spiritually, where there's some things we know we need to take care of, but we've been putting it on the back burner, we've been putting it on the back burner, putting it off, pushing it away, sliding it over further, then all of a sudden something, bam, happens. And now you have to go into recovery mode. You have to go in to emergency mode to get things done. So, in this whole process, different things start to emerge. And, you know, a new thought started to come. Because when I first purchased My Living Branch, I had no concept of what, what to do with it. You know, I was just going to migrate the uh, living-branch.org over to it. But during this whole process, the father started dealing with me because, you know, I was I've been up late um, working on this round the clock, you know, tech support, support, trying to figure out how to do this and how to do that. And also uh, one good thing that came out of um, this, the website is now secure. So it's a HTTPS website. So it's a secure website. So your data is, is not susceptible. The other one wasn't secure. 
So that was the first thing that I wanted to accomplish. And and praise be the Elohim because um, my hosting company actually offered that service to me for free. I was like, thank you, because I know some of these hosting companies, you will pay an arm and leg just to get that S on your HTTP. Okay, so I, as the father, while I'm rebuilding and trying to figure this out and, and get this done, father started, starts, you know, kind of, he's dealing with me now on a thing and what what to work and i hadn't even thought about it you know i always just put a tree and you know when when you start to take ownership for the things that are happening in your life instead of saying oh i could i could hit, sit, sit here all day and blame the hacker or whoever did this or whatever did it and still not be any further but when I started to take ownership and start to look at my part in why this happened if I had have done all of this a lot earlier you know or started moving towards it I might have been in a different different position I don't know but what it made me do it made me really look towards Shamaim or heaven for help to get this resolved and so then the theme started coming out you know on the other uh, website we focused on trees well if the trees not producing fruit what good is it yeah it might can make you keep you cool in the summer you know, by sitting in, under the shade, you know, those that are in hot places know a shade tree is invaluable. But it made me start thinking about fruit. And then that started resounding to help people, not just to reach the lost sheep, but many of the lost sheep that are reclaimed still are in just as bad a situation as when they were lost because they're not producing fruit. And you know what it says, and every tree that doesn't bring forth good fruit is hewed down and cast into the fire. And so we're going to come, we're probably going to, you know, uh, since that's going to be the going theme, and he gave me the thought, your fruit, matters now notice it, I didn't say fruits and that's when he gave me another thing you know because normally you know people use various type fruits grapes and different other ones but the father put put on um, put it in my ruah to use pomegranates I was like pomegranates and then it started to make sense because a pomegranate is a fruit but when you open it up look at all the different seeds that are in it look at the seeds and when you open us up we supposed to in in Galatians the fifth chapter it talks about the fruit of the spirit so when you open it up, all these things should be inside of that one fruit. And that's basically what a pomegranate represented to me. You have all these seeds inside of this one fruit. And we've got to focus on, because your, your fruit tree focuses on two things. Because when you go to the Ten Commandments, there are two things. There's how you treat Yahuwah Elohim, your fruit towards Him, what you say and what you do. And we'll, we'll break that down probably next week because I've done it before, but I'll do it again uh, since we're going with a different theme. Then also, what you do, with, what's your fruit towards your fellow man or others? And others being people 
So what do you say and do? You know, as far as Torah is concerned. And so the, he just brought this thing full circle for me. And so that's why you see here on the slide, um, pomegranate. You're going to see everything's going to be pomegranate. Pomegranate fruit. Uh, pomegranate trees. When you go to the website, all the stuff on there is going to be pomegranate. So, and when you when you look in scripture, pomegranate is actually in scripture. And uh, and I'm I'm sure everybody would love you get in get in contact with Moray Junior Kanan. He he'll he'll tell you where you can get some of that good pomegranate liquor or or wine, whichever one you want to call it. That stuff is good, but that was a sidetrack. So let me get back on track. So what I wanted to do is just just make sure that you see, because many people don't take ownership. When things happen to them. It could have happened to you. Because you delayed something. Or you put something off. Or. Something you were supposed to address. You didn't address. So. Taking ownership. Is, is not blaming others. It's looking inward. And when you do that. It's a powerful tool. In your life. It'll give you peace. It'll bring you closer to Elohim because you're examining now yourself. Even the parable about the moat in the eye, you have to get the moat out your eye first before you can try to get it out someone else's. So these are powerful lessons and some of the best lessons that we learn will be from our own experiences. And how we go through it. And how we own up to things. And that's what many people, especially over here, don't want to own up to things. They want to blame everyone else. And that's why I continually tell you, you know, I, I don't, you don't hear me talk much about slavery. As far as, as, far as from a uh, historical fact point, you might hear me talk about it and how it happened, how it relates to scripture. But slavery and all the things that happen in history, you know, we have a tendency to want to blame races and pick colors and all this stuff. But when you look back in the scripture, it was our forefathers in our own wayward ways that caused these things to come upon us. And he told us in Leviticus 26 that if we acknowledge our wrongdoing paraphrasing that he would restore us but he, this is one of the problems people don't want to own up to anything they want to be high on the horse they want to be the one that's propped up look at me but I tell it I'm like don't, don't look at me I'm looking to the father I see my wayward ways I see my shortcomings and I'm just thankful that he had mercy in this situation that I was able to get the site back up. He gave me a new theme. Um, he gave me a, a new direction on how to help people because there has to be some element of accountability if you're going to bring forth fruit. It's just not you not just out there growing wild, you know. But there has to be some structure, there has to be some, uh, some, some uh, gardening time, or, you know, tending, pruning, you know, so that the tree can be as productive as it can without spending energy on dead things. And that's what a lot of people do. They spend energy on dead. They got a dead branch that they refuse to cut off. 
and that dead branch is siphoning energy and it doesn't prov all it does is produce leaves it, it just it doesn't produce any fruit just leaves but you refuse to cut it off now it's time to help people start to identify these things walk them through the process you got to get rid of that branch because it, it's, it's hindering you it's hindering your fruit that's why instead of bringing forth a big old pomegranate your stuff look like a little cherry because you haven't addressed what you need to address now what I want to do um, is I want to show you and we'll make this bigger let's take out that Okay, so this is actually the uh, new website, and if you look here, um, it's it looks a lot neater. Um, even got a here like if you come here, this is a calendar with the feast, telling you pasak and matzah and the day. So. It's, uh, it's it's very intuitive. I, I like this website. Now, as you can see, I was able to put this here. So you can go search for people. Now, let me tell you what I had to do. So I looked through all the people that were on Living Branch. Migrated over. And I made a decision because I, I thought to myself, if a person hasn't been to the website in three months... Mm, there must be a reason so I said okay just like we have to prune a tree you have to prune people and it's nothing against people but you know if they haven't if you haven't been there some hadn't been there in like three four years in some a year some six months, some three. So I said three, around three month mark, somewhere around there. I had to make a cutoff. So this site uses your email address and your password. If you've been to the site in the last three months, if you go over and use your email address and password and it says you're not there, then you were probably purged. You can sign up again. There's no problem with that when you first come to the site right under here. You're going to see a join. So notice now it's an ownership. It's no longer just a living branch. But now you're claiming ownership. My living branch. You know, you got to take accountability. You got to own this thing now. And I'm not talking about the website. I'm talking about your branch and your producing fruit. So it's where your fruit matter we strive to help you produce righteous parentheses good fruit after Torah that's our purpose so you still can do discussions and little files and photos uh, there'll be other features coming um, as I learn this platform I, I really like the platform so I'm just making sure, uh, you know, I don't want to overwhelm people. You'll you'll be able to see here in the gallery. Um, you still can see Dr. Borkin's um, her um, her helpful health tips that she gives us. Okay, and you can put events in here, so. The, the way it works, you know, you got, if you want to go home, you can come here, hit, hit the, um, like I did, hit this right here, you got home and all this, you can search, this right here also takes you home, then if you want to add something, you hit this plus button here, by hitting the plus button, these are all the things that you can add, post, and so, uh, you all can, you can also, uh, if you come here, 
You can do conversations with people. You can have friends list. Um, I mean, it's it's a powerful tool, very powerful tool, and and I'm I'm liking it. I just have to. Uh, I'm just learning all the ins and outs. And like I said, everything you see on here is gonna be pomegranates. Cause that's the, that's one of the fruit of the land. And um, we'll go through this, but the priests actually wore uh, pomegranates on the on their hymn. So very, 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 very good. So. Uh, Pomegranates is just a uh, a great, great, great fruit. Love it, man. If you ever go to Israel, get you some of that pomegranate juice. And they got pomegranate wine over there. You go down. Most of the places you go, they'll, they'll have fresh pomegranates and squeeze it right there on the spot. That's some good stuff. So, and we're going to focus and we're going to, you know, focus on helping people produce fruit. So if you one of those stubborn folks, don't like to listen, can't follow instructions, don't want to be led, then this might not be the site for you. Because we're coming down to the last hour. And I think this is why the father is changing the theme for me and the focus for me. And helping people because we got to get real we, we got to get real on this fruit thing it is serious business and we want to see people make it in then uh, this morning what was very very interesting was I received an email from a young brother in Africa uh, his name is Shimuel, or Shimuel, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And his dream was uh, his dream was very interesting. Baby, I won't read his dream, but I'll kind of give you the gist of it. Uh, the dream was that I was on TV um, um, and. There was money on the floor and, you know, so whatever the father's getting ready to do, he's getting ready to do it for his purpose and for us to do his purpose. It's not for us to squander. And uh, he just said, um, I was so excited to see you. I said I was going to tell uh, Maury that he now has a slot on TV. So... And then he said, uh, as I was packing, I thought about the new website and now advertise, adver, uh, advertise on the TV. So, you know, we never know what the father's going to open up, what doors he's going to open up for us. Then it was kind of interesting because the first thing that I saw, um, I went to check email. Right after I read his his um, I was check, I checked the what happened I checked another email, and it was an email from Amazon. And then the whole theme of the email was coming soon to a screen near you. And I'm like, how ironic is that? So we never know what the Father has planned, and when things happen. Don't get up in a tizzy. Remain calm. You can work through it. And let's see what the father's. If, if you did do something and he's trying to, you know, jumpstart you, just, just jumpstart. Just accept the jumpstart and get it moving. That's what I had to do. And even last night, and see, even after I accepted and started, you know, making the change, all kind of stuff was happening. So uh, last night I was finishing up 
you know, rearranged some stuff on the site, was up late, and I got up early this morning. And when I got up early, bam, guess what? Couldn't access the website. I'm like, what the world? Then, you know, I messaged tech support. So I remember they were doing maintenance. They were moving me over to a different, uh, faster server, which I don't have to pay much. I don't have to pay more for. They're just doing it because they're upgrading their equipment. Then come to find out, they um, had made a change to my email accounts. You know, the incoming server and the outgoing server. I know it's a little techy, but just bear along with me. And what that caused, what what that what that caused my email program to do is to keep going out trying to check email, check email, check email. And so what they did, they blocked my IP address. I'm like, okay. So they unblocked it. Then, of course, they didn't give me the new parameters for the incoming server and the outgoing server for your mail. I had to email them again, put another support ticket in again, say something changed. And finally, they, they uh, sent me back, well, these are your new parameters. And I told them in the thing, something's changed. I think y'all changed something. So it had blocked me again. So I had to get unblocked again. But, you know, not for one moment did I get frustrated because my confidence is in the Father that He's going to work this thing out. And I just have to be persistent in my action. Some of us give up. Oh, Father, thank you. Some of us give up too quickly. We throw in the towel too quickly. When if you had have just held on. Because remember, it's, it's enduring to the end. Every, every test goes to another test and you endure to the end of that test. Mm. Boom, here comes a blessing. Endure to the end of another test. Boom, here comes a blessing. But some of us can't endure. And we give up and throw in the towel right before the blessing comes. We've got to be perseverance. Remember it talks about in Romans 5. About what tribulation does. Tribulation work of experience. You know. You, you got to go through this stuff. You got to experience it. And you're going to be better off. And you're going to see the direction. The Father's going to take us in. We might lose some people. That's fine. Because what we're looking for, we're not looking for a million people. We're looking for a million people that want to produce good fruit. And if we only get 50 of them, we'll take those. Because I would rather take the 50 that want to produce good fruit than, 50, than uh, a thousand that just want to produce fruit. Because I don't know what kind of fruit you're going to produce. You could produce good fruit. You could produce uh, irregular fruit. You know. And when a tree's first planted, the first several years, you can't make an offering from that tree to the Father anyway. So we're getting to the point now. We, we should be able to make an offering to Him. Because our fruit... It's where it needs to be. Let me just look here. So I just wanted to share with you. And you know what's happening. What we're doing. And you know how we're going to go about this. Because I'm believing the Father. To do some some great things. I'm I'm a willing participant for him, and I'll tell anybody my name means nothing. People can run my name in the mud all they want, but this work that he's given me is everything. I have to do that at all costs and bring honor to his name, not honor to myself, but honor to his name. And he'll be the one. Just like they thought they had destroyed David's name. 
Look at all that David had to go through in his latter life. But look how the father came back and raised up his name. So I'm not worried about my name. I, I'm just worried about his name. And I pray that you have the same attitude. And that you have the same willingness to follow him. Because if you do, he's going to open doors for you. He's going to make you to be a blessing to help others too. And this is what this is all about. Alrighty, so I know um, next week uh, we'll probably, uh, well, I got, I, I, let's see, next week I know what I'm going to teach about, and the week after that I already know what I'm going to teach about, but I can't tell you, but uh, uh, I got so many um, people that enjoyed the lesson we did last week, warning friends how many of us have them, so we're going to do things that will help people in their day-to-day -day walk. Um, I remember Chirac Will and Ima Jian told, told me, um, you know, they are part of Living Branch. They've been with me since Living Branch became a Living Branch. And, they, you know, we were talking and they said, you know, if you start teaching on what people go through, what we're up against, you know, what we face and how to handle it. It'll really help people. So that was a, a, a suggestion they gave you, and the father confirmed it. And we've been doing that now and um, been being a blessing to people. So, um, of course, you know, let me go back here. The email address is going to change, so make note of it. It's info at mylivingbranch.org. The other one will still work. I'm going to keep that one on for a time. And I'm forwarding over the old site to the new site. Um, because that one, you know, is all in the search engine. So I'm going to leave it, leave that there and in place. Um, but this is going to be the new email address. Info at mylivingbranch.org. Okay. Man, those pomegranates. Woo. Thank you. So I want to pray, Ms. Baca. We gotta we gotta roll our sleeves up. We've got to get to work. And if you if you got some unfinished um, thing, loose ends, you know, with forgiveness or anything else, uh, let's get that stuff straight. Let's get it. Let's get it get the ship tight so we can set sail we got a lot to do okay and see look at that I got to change this so after after I conclude I'm gonna go back and change that so easy to miss stuff but we, we'll get it off straight oh, I just thought of something else I got to change in the slide <laughs> but hey it, it's a work in progress and I don't mind we all need to you know, so when you're doing things, you can see. All right, let's pray. Father, I thank you for every experience, every trial, every tribulation, every up and down. Father, because I know you allow it to come. You said the trying of our faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that you might be entire, not wanting anything. I thank you, Father, that even through this, your name is esteemed, that only by your help that we were able to accomplish this. Now, Father, use everything that we touch for your esteem. Help us, Father, to show others what we must do. Let us be an example. Let our fruit hang. Let our tree just be hanging with fruit. And we give you praise, Father, that they'll see, they'll see the good works and esteem you in heaven, Oshama'in. Thank you, Father, for all of my misbakah, both near and far. Thank you for all the 12 tribes scattered abroad through the four corners of this earth. 
Father, I pray that you would help them to bring forth fruit. It's not enough just to wake up. But Father, help them to bring forth good fruit. That they can be a blessing in your kingdom. I thank you, Father. I say, Toda Rabbah, for all things. In the name of Mashiach, Yahusha. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. So this one hadn't changed. You still can go to the Hebrew Foundation Resource Center, get any books um, that you need. And we'll probably put a couple of selections on the website for new people. Uh, if you're looking for the Dead Sea Scrolls, they got a link there for that. That's uh, definitely something you need in your library. And of course, if you're looking for, man, <laughs> Pesach is right here on us, y'all. Passover is here. So Hebrew Ten Commandments, you can get in paperback or Kindle. Or you can get, and you, you want to combine that with the Hebrew Passover story. So definitely get that. Okay, and if you would like to be a part of our bookmark of witnessing team, you can, you can do that. And I think um, on our next bookmarker, guess what? We're going to change this picture up. We're going to a different theme, pomegranates. Okay, so we got to keep that theme. So I got to change this right here. Put some pomegranates here. We're going to be pomegranate out. That's right. Lori Kanan going to bring out that pomegranate. Save me some. Yes. Okay, and we'll change this up. Um, we'll get that website right. But it's still forwards over. So if you would like to support us, you can do so. Um, cash out by mail or PayPal. So Ms. Baka, when you're going and trying to figure out, was it hack? Were you hacked or was it the hand of Allah? Look at, take ownership for your part and I guarantee you, you'll see things in a different light stop blaming others what this person did to me what that one did look at you because they're gone they've moved on you're still stuck with the baggage and the only way you're gonna get better is that you take your baggage to baggage claim See what's in it and get things sorted out. What did you pack? So make sure. That you do that. And um, we'll be praying for brother Ivan. Yeah, I know allergy season is is upon us it's rough because not only is allergy season they spraying they spraying stuff like crazy it makes no sense so today make sure you go over if you haven't um check out the website sign up for account um you know become my friend and uh on the site and we'll uh We'll have some good, 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 good stuff. Now, make sure this evening uh, at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you log, either you log on. If you're local, you can come to the location uh, with the joint service um, with the path to who and living and um, my living branch. So that's at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we look forward to seeing you either online. You can find the link at the path to yahuwah.com. All right, and Ms. Baka, um, when you come on, if you log on to the site, make sure you send me a message. I'll see you anyway, eventually. But uh, check it out. And uh, let's get ready to take this thing to the next level. All right, this is Moray Medea Yahoo saying unto you, Shabbat Shalom. We love you all. Make this the best Shabbat ever.